Hello, I'm your host, Jacob Fuller, resident Mazarkin King, and thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. First of all, I'd just like to add a disclaimer and say that I do not own the main part of the video. Southwest Baptist University was the one that actually live streamed the Spirit Chapel video, but what they did not get recorded was the videos that the dorms had up on the screens, which you guys won't uh, will notice that there is no screens in there. So what I did. Uh, which I should have done with all the RDs and ARDs, but I will ask y'all next year, um, next time I come back. But what I did is I contacted my ARD, Cooper Locke, and I asked him if he was able to give me the video that they, Plaster Meyer had made for their dorms spirit chapel thing. And what, I, what you'll see in a moment is the video will be in one of the corners of this video next to the stage. So you guys can have the enjoyment of seeing what the video had that they made uh, and what they did for Spirit Chapel. So with that being said, enjoy the show. And then Sunday, some more women's and men's soccer team games. So what a great event together as we come together as Bearcats. It's going to be a great time. So listen, I think you're ready. Are you ready for Spirit Chapel? All right. I think half of you are ready. So I'm hoping the other half get ready here in just a minute. Let me pray, and then I'm going to turn it over to our host. Father, thank you for the opportunity to gather for this special chapel. God, we come in your spirit, the spirit of Jesus Christ, and we gather together in this place we thank you for your goodness and your mercy that follows us all the days of our lives. And we thank you that we can come together and gather in this place to have, whether we eat or drink or whatever we do, to do all things for the glory of God. We praise you, we thank you, we exalt you in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. amen. All right, would you give it up? Best. Right here. Here we go, Madison. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're just as excited for Spirit Chapel as I am. So to kick this thing off, we're gonna go with Leslie and Landon South. This is the first time Landon is competing as separate wings, so let's see what they have in store. Plaster Meyer, you are on deck. 10 hook, at ease. Maverick, Goose, you two have had a rocky past. You placed second in last year's homecoming competition. You haven't won since 2019. You're a work in progress at best. But I have a responsibility to uphold, so I'm giving you a shot. I'm going to send you up against the best. You two are going to SBU, the top Christian university in the USA. There you will work. You will compete. You will face the best of the best. 
and ultimately, you will play against the infamous William Jewell Cardinals. Gentlemen, one more thing. Good luck. All right, Mav, that was a great workout. Let's get a shake at Shake Smart. Let's go, Goose. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much of love drives a man insane. You broke my will, but what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I let you love what I thought it was. All your work has led to this moment. It's time for the big game. Don't let me down. I don't know what you've been told. But time is running out. No need to take a slow. I'm stepping to your toe to toe. I should be scared, honey, maybe so. But I am worried about it right now. Keep them dreams alive. 1999 heroes. I am worried about it right now. No. No, good. Goose, you gotta talk to me, buddy. Talk to me, Goose. Watching every motion in my foolish love is gay. For Goose. All right, let's give them another big round of applause. All right, next up we have Plaster and Meyer. They never fail to bring their spirit every year. So let's give them a warm welcome and off campus you are on deck. And that's basically the story of the Meyer and Gott prank war. <laughs> that's awesome. Yep. Your guys are very quirky. Yeah, they can be a little despicable. <laughs> All that to say, we're so happy that we have you on our team this year. I'm super excited too. Yeah. And Cooper, I feel like we still have so much to catch up on. Like, why in the world do the guys always talk about the third floor of Meyer? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me catch up to speed on that. So, long ago, Plaster and Meyer lived in harmony with all the other norms. But one day, Meyer noticed something. They noticed that Woody Gott had three floors, Landon and Leslie had three floors, and that even Beasley had four floors. 
And with Meyer only having two, they were madder than a lamb on Passover. So they shimmied over to Plaster where they developed a plan. Real quick, is that Kevin, Stuart, and Bob? Also, why are they all dressed like minions? I told you they could be a little despicable. Oh, okay. So, Plaster Meyer got all the minions huddled together and went right into the plan. They said, we are going to steal Beasley Farm! What? How do you steal an entire floor? You see, with all the construction going on at Landon and Leslie, they planned on borrowing some of the equipment and using it to move the entire floor back down to Meyer. So, our heroes mobbed their way up to Landon and Leslie, but suddenly got stopped by some foreboding music. You see, this bird guy from the KC area flew right into their path. His name was Jector, and he was obviously up to no good. He told the group that he was looking for the banks of SBU. While they thought that was pretty odd, our heroes pointed Jector down to SBU banks and made their way up the rest of the hill. When they got to the construction equipment, they noticed that it was being guarded by people from Landon and Leslie. Heavens to Betsy! How'd they get around them? It was actually pretty easy. So, at the time, Landon was involved in a love triangle between both Leslie and Beasley. It was super awkward, because it always seemed like half of Landon belonged to each of them. All we had to do was get a Beasley girl to walk by, and the problem took care of itself. Nice! So, we got the equipment, and we made it over to Beasley, and then... And then the craziest thing happened! Jector, the bird guy from earlier, swooped down and stole the equipment right from under our noses, and then started flying directly to the SBU banks. Oh, wait, I think I see where this is going. Wait, really? Yeah, so Jector's grandfather was named Billy J. Bird, and back in 1910, William J. used to own the deed to SBU, and we operated as the Southwest Baptist College of William Jewell. Then, after a few years and one giant bonfire later, they returned the deed back to the banks of SBU. That's right! And now, years later, Jector came back to get his revenge by stealing the deed. So, we gathered all the troops of SBU and met Jector on the forum for the final battle for campus. Everyone played their part in defeating Jector, and once he was worn down, we yeeted him right back to KC where he stayed the rest of his days. That's sweet! But what about Meyer III? So after the battle was won, we realized that Meyer III is actually the friends that we've made along the way. So we got everybody together and had a giant shindig on the forum. You mean a dance party? Yeah, it was a dance party. Let's give them a big round of applause. All right, now the next guys we don't see around campus often because they're so old now, but they never fail to bring it during Spirit Chapel. So let's give off campus a warm welcome. And what do you got? You're on deck.
Let's give them one more round of applause. Now the next guys we typically know for their mad ping pong skills, but let's see what they have for Spirit Chapel. What do you got? You're up. Beasley, Landon East, you're on deck. Zach, have you thought of any ideas for Spirit Chapel? Homecoming is in like two weeks. Hey, don't even worry about it. Of course I've thought of an idea. I haven't thought of an idea. Well, what do you think the other dorms are going to do? Maybe we could bounce around some ideas and figure out what we're going to do. What do you think Plaster and Meyer are going to do? If I had to guess, probably something movie or game related. They're pretty up to date with their culture. Um, that's not it. Alright, let's think of someone else. You know, I almost feel a little sorry for Landon. The chaos of sports and the chaos of homecoming at the same time, that's going to lead to some interesting results. Well, it's a good thing they have Leslie with them. They always have some sort of pep in their step when it comes to this stuff. Huh, yeah. It's almost like they're a little too happy about something. Alright, so what about Beasley? In all honesty, I've never been in Beasley. Those steps are insane. Yeah, four floors. A little excessive if you ask me. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at Shuto. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't Beasley with Memorial? Chaney, I don't know how to tell you this. Memorial's not here. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, okay, that's news to me, but we need to figure out what we're gonna do. Well, let's think of the things that make us, us. We have a lot of couples around here. Kill the light, so baby, close your eyes. The way you're looking at me, you got me mesmerized. Oh, no, no, no. That, no, that's bad. All right, fine. What do you think we should do? Okay, okay, okay. It is Woody Gott's 40th birthday. No, no, stop the music. We are not doing a birthday party. Chaney, what do you, take the hat off. Listen, we're overthinking this. Everyone knows the thing that defines what he got is the amazing community that we've fostered here. And it looks to me that we've got all the help we need to prove that. Wait, we forgot something. Off campus. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Let's give it up for what he got one more time.
Now, lastly, but certainly not least, since they took home the homecoming dub last year, we have Beasley and Landon East. Once upon a time, in a land not so far away, in fact, many of you may actually be living there, there was a thriving kingdom where the wonderful Queen Elizabeth was sitting on the throne for many, 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 many years. And then she died. Queen Elizabeth left behind eight wonderful children, the youngest of which were Princess Plaster and Prince Meyer. Next in line is Prince Gott and Princess Woody, after them comes Princess Leslie. The last of the sisters is Princess Beasley. Then came the twin brothers, Lenny and Lonnie. Boys, those girls aren't supposed to be here. Get them gone. Shoo. And finally, the firstborn, Prince Mimo, who suddenly vanishes, leaving no heir to the throne. Between their mother's death and the disappearance of their older brother, the kingdom is left in turmoil, and they struggled to decide who would succeed the throne. Lines were quickly drawn. A prank war had erupted. The war did not last very long at all. The kingdoms of Plaster, Meyer, and Woody Gott were located near a dam. And you can guess what happened next. Release the dam! Mmm, that's a five dollar fine. Release the... darn? <laughs> The night after Lenny and Lonnie had successfully defeated the youngest siblings, they went to bed in their princely chamber, and a disagreement erupted. At least I take showers, guy! You're just sitting there compensating with axe spray! You take that back right now. A house divided against itself cannot stand. The disagreement escalated, and thus the kingdom divided in two. Leslie allied with Lonnie, and so Beasley allied with Lenny. You've come back! Only to help you win, little brother. I'm not here for the crown. Vacation was much too sweet. And the coconuts? They're a con. With the help of their older brother, the tide of the battle was turned. The wounded were cared for, the castle was restored, and peace began... What? What do you want? Now remember, students. Only dorm residents can do laundry in the dorm laundry rooms. And so, of course, they scared away this off-campus kingdom. And thus, the people began to prepare for a coronation day. October 8th in the year of our Lord, 2022, they pronounced Beasley and Lenny king and queen of the Southwest Baptist Kingdom. One last time for everyone who participated in Spirit Chapel. Now, as the judges calculate the points for Spirit Chapel, we're going to welcome our homecoming court. Yes. A 
Okay, so we're gonna get to know each candidate a little bit better. They're going to say their name, their year, their major, and if they were a household item, what item they would be. Maddie, you're up. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Maddie Mills. I'm a, thank you. Um, I'm a freshman and I'm a biology major, and I think if I was a household item, it would probably be a blender, because I think I mix well with people. Hello, my name is Tyler Johnson. The boys in my ear call me TJ. Um, I'm a biology education major. I'm a freshman, and if I were a household item, I would be a garbage disposal. Because I'm willing to bear your trash and I'm scared, terrifying to small children. Hi all, I'm Ashton Robinson. I'm a sophomore. I'm an exercise science major. <laughs> and if I was a household item, I would probably be a flower vase because I really love flowers. <laughs> I'm Noah Franklin. I'm a sophomore. I'm an exercise science major, and if I were a household item, I'd be a couch, because who doesn't like being lazy? Hi, I'm Lauren. I am a junior. I am a social work major, and if I was a household object, I would be a record player, because I love music and I love to dance. So. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tyler Collinson. I, I am a junior going for web systems and design, and if I was a household item, I would be a throw pillow because I love to be humble and kind while still being down for a pillow fight. Hi friends, my name is Brenna. I, I'm a senior and I'm a nursing major, and if I were a household item, I think I would be a blanket because I like to make people feel comfortable and cozy and like give you a little warm, fuzzy feeling. Awesome. How's it going? I'm Cole Kirby. <laughs> I'm a senior computer science and math major, and I would also be a blender, but more specifically a ninja blender, because I feel like they're pretty cool and fun, and, but past 12 a.m., they're kind of loud and obnoxious too, so there's that. What up? I'm Kelly. Thank you, you guys are sweet. I am a senior studying youth ministry and counseling, and if I were a household item, I would be a coffee maker, because my favorite thing to do is to make people excited and pumped, just like coffee does to most people. Hi, I'm Tyler Bellmeyer. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a senior math education major, and I gotta give my guy Ashton Rogers credit for the inspiration, but if I were a household item, I'd a lamp because I'm tall and I bring light to every room. Hi, I'm Savannah. Um, <laughs> um, I oh, I'm a senior, and I'm a senior nursing major like Brenna. We're in the same cohort. Um, and if I was a household item, I think I would be Band-Aids um, because I like to heal and help what's hurting. And I can be versatile depending on who I'm with. Children, I can be fun, excited, and I guess adults, that means boring, but. <laughs> hey, I'm Charles Phillips. Thank you. Uh, I'm a computer information science major, and if I was a household item, uh, I guess I'd say a fridge, because my mom says I keep things cool. I am Haley Hershenson. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm a super senior music education major, vocal. And if I were a household item, I think I might be a rug, because I like to um, be quiet and listen to people and hopefully help them uh, feel comfortable. I'm like, wow, that's surprisingly soft and I can walk around barefoot and it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm Nathan McLaughlin. Thank you, Cody. Uh, I'm a senior accounting major 
Uh, and if I was a household item, I think I'd be a picture frame because I like to make memories with people. I'm Gabby Young. And I'm a senior art education major. And if I was a household item, I'd be a kettle because when bad things happen, my emotions bubble up inside me and then I scream. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's loud. Uh, my name's Gabriel Long. <laughs> I am a senior of intercultural studies. And if I were a household item, I think I would be a crock pot because you know, I gotta sit and think about things and stew on things for a real long time, but when I'm done, it's, as Dr. Prosperly says, nice, sweet, and juicy. All right, now we're gonna begin the voting process for our king and queen, but give your princesses and princesses one um, last round of applause. All right, let's get the voting started. So directions should pop up on the screen. So you're gonna text the code under the person who you want to vote for to 22333. So right now we're just voting for girls. We'll vote for the kings next. Okay, so now we're gonna begin voting for our king candidates. Now voting is finished, and to give you a little preview into other events this week, we have bed races on Friday at 4 p.m. and a picnic near McClelland at 5.30. We also have the parade at 10 a.m. on Saturday and, of course, the football game. And that's where you will hear your homecoming king and queen be announced. So stay tuned for that. Also, I would like to give Deborah Yarig, our major events UAC chair, a round of applause for doing homecoming. <laughs> And also the lovely Molly Banks for all of her help as well. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna announce our Spirit Chapel winners. But you guys can exit the stage, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give it up for them one more time. You can be louder. All right, so who's ready to hear our third place winners? You guys can be louder than that. Who is ready to hear our third place winners? Okay. All right, so for third place, we have Leslie and Landon South. All 
All right, now who's ready for second place? Okay, second place is Beasley in Landon East. All right, now first place, who's ready for this one? Okay, so your first place winners for Spirit Chapel are Plaster and Meyer. Okay, yeah, give it up for him one more time. All right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning into Spirit Chapel. We're really grateful that you're here and we hope that you enjoy the rest of your homecoming week and you guys are dismissed. Thank you so much. from Stockton, Missouri, and the son of Doug and Amy Johnson. Tyler's future plans are to become a science teacher in a local school district while pursuing his master's degree in education. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Johnson and Madison. SPU sophomore class prince and princess are Noah Franklin and Ashlyn Robinson. Ashlyn is an exercise science major from Rogers, Arkansas, and the daughter of Eric and Sarah Robinson. Ashlyn's future plans are to attend SU's Doctor of PT program. Ashlyn's being escorted by sophomore Prince Noah Franklin. Noah is an exercise science major from Cobden, Illinois, and the son of Josh and Brittany Franklin. Noah's future plans are to also attend SPU's DT of Physical Therapy program. Ladies and gentlemen, Noah Franklin and Ashlyn Robinson. Yeah. Your 2022 junior class prince and princess are Tyler Collinson. No, I said I could keep it. Tyler's future plans are still unclear, but he's looking into many different opportunities such as web design profession, an information technology job, or database administrator. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Collinson and Lauren Brianna is hoping to pass her NCLEX and stay in the Bolivar area and begin her career as a labor and delivery. Don't mind me, I'm just recording this. Ultimately, she's open going I said I'm just going to put this on the Spirit Chapel video after all. Brianna is being escorted by her king candidate, Cole Kirby. Yeah! Woo! Science and math major from Pleasant Hill, Missouri, and the son of Mark and Kara Kirby. After graduation, he plans to potentially pursue a master's degree in mathematics or to start the job search and pursue a career in data science and machine learning. Ladies and gentlemen, Cole Kirby and Brianna Allen. Next, we have Nathan McLaughlin. Yeah! And Sylvia Hershenson. Upon graduation, Hazy plans to teach and or pursue a certification in music therapy. Haley is being escorted by King candidate Nathan McLaughlin. Nathan is an accounting major from Springfield, Missouri. Oh, this is a good, and the son okay. of 92 alumni Jeremy 
and Angela McLaughlin. After graduation, he plans to say hi on camera. Hello. 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 I'm just going to continue recording so all I'm saying right now is going to be on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan McLaughlin and Haley Hershenson. Our third King and Queen candidates are Gabriel Long and Gabriel And Shannon Jensen in 1990. Upon graduation, Gabrielle plans to move to Kansas City with her husband Colin, live there for a few years, and then eventually go overseas to teach art. Gabrielle is being escorted by King candidate Gabriel Long. Gabrielle is a cultural studies major from Lee Summit, Missouri, and the son of Philip and Vela Long. After graduating, he plans to join a missions organization and move overseas. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Long and Gabrielle Young. And our fourth and final King and Queen candidates are Charles Phillips and Savannah Garrison. And alumni Michelle Garrison. Upon graduation, Savannah plans to marry her fiance, Charles Phillips, in May and become a mother baby nurse. <laughs> Ring by spring. Savannah is being Don't escorted by nervous. King candidate Charles Phillips. You're sweating through your eyes. Charles yeah. is a computer <laughs> information science major from Raymore, Missouri, and the son of Chuck and Patty Phillips. After graduation, he plans to marry Savannah and will be keeping his options Another open to wherever God may leave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Charles Phillips yeah. and Savannah Garrison. Tyler Bellmeyer and Kelly Cahill. Michelle Cahill. Upon graduation, Kelly plans to go to graduate school and become a licensed counselor. Kelly is being escorted by King candidate Tyler Bellmeyer. Tyler is a math education major from Bates City, Missouri, and the son of Kevin and Amy Bellmeyer. After graduating, he plans to become a high school math teacher and start a family. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Bellmeyer and Kelly Cahill. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, your 2022 SBU homecoming king and queen are... Can I get a drum roll from the pep band? Yeah, Paul. No. <laughs> Your 2022 homecoming king and queen are Gabriel Long and Savannah Garrison. Once again, thank you and congratulations to the 2020 USBU Homecoming Corps. Did you just say 2020 USBU? <laughs> Not 2021, but 2020 U. I would love them to start playing that right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the next one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the next one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the next one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the next one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the next one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the next one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get now the dorms and off-campus students who participated in homecoming festivities oh, yeah, will be making their way onto the field as will be announced. You know, I just thought of, we got a perfect view of your butt on the camera right now, and I wasn't even thinking, Mason. King Bob! And float building. Based well, King Bob, I believe your bottom points. was on candy camera. <laughs> Overall, the activities we're going to announce the top Oops, three brother sister dorm. Yeah. First of all, in third place, Plaster Meyer.
Daddy God. Yo, what? Oh, come on. And the 2022 20, overall homecoming champion is... Beasley and Landon Ellis. Yeah, I can see that coming. Darn. I'll just make an edit after and say, Clash Mar, you're the winner. I did that. I did that two years ago on this. I was like, okay, as soon as I put in the description. I put in the description, like, okay, actually, blah, 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 one. Uh huh. Events and activities. Great job to everyone involved. Top three, 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 top three. Oh, I'm still recording, so ah, that was all on camera. Yeah, it's, it's way tight. Uh huh. Okay, and uh, uh, say bye. You're on candid camera. Just turn to the right and look down. Yeah. Okay, you're on candid camera. Okay. Hi, mom. Well, we got top three. No. You're on candid camera. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys next year I'm going to make sure I definitely keep recording Spirit Chapel. I'll have to remember my, or remind myself to record it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want to, you can check out the previous Spirit Chapels uh, all the way back to 2017. 2017, I will say, is my first time recording one, so it was only Plaster and Myers. Uh, so, I think ever since then I've been recording every time. So, other than that, I'll say it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, and hit the subscribe button and then the bell icon next to it so you guys can know if I when I upload another video for from SBU, not for SBU, but from SBU, and yeah, just like all my other outros on, on my channel, thank you so much for watching my video, bye bye!